Hi! Oh my gosh, so many technical difficulties. I am so glad to see you and it's working. Yay! Okay. Hi, I'm Michelle and this is a Rise and Reignite fitness class. Today is going to be a bar class, so what you're going to need is a chair and a set of light hand weights and maybe have a towel around in case you have lower back pain when we do um, some of our ab work. Let's go ahead and get started. Hands on your hips and raise those legs up to about hip height. We're gonna start with a little bit of a warm up, just getting those juices flowing, that body feeling good. We're kicking off Monday, super fun. Hence the, you know, hot pink top. That's how super fun is defined. If you look like Barbie, you're probably having fun. I think they made an aqua song about that in the 80s or 90s. Go ahead and bring those arms up to uh, 90 degree angles. Start pulling back. And each time you lift a leg up, pull back with energy, Use your breath, start getting your full body engaged so those arms are in it, that breath is in it. As you exhale, each time you pull those arms, those legs don't need to come up super high, just getting that body nice and warm for five, four, three, two, one. Come to center, you're gonna reach over to one side and then reach to the other. So you're now getting your back into it a little bit. As you twist that spine, keep breathing, exhaling as you move. You don't need to do anything super dramatic. This is just getting that body warm. For three, two, one, come to center, hands back on your hips. Take one leg, open it up to the side, and then move to the other side. Just gently moving side to side. <sighs> Breathe in and out. Nice and steady, we're opening up those hip flexors. We're gonna do three more. Three, two, last one. We're gonna get the hit the floor with a plank. So go ahead and come down to the ground. Lift yourself up, your forearms are down. We're gonna hold this plank for one minute. Your shoulders are above your elbows. Forearms are plastered on the ground. Your face is looking down at the space either between your arms or maybe where your hands are folded together. Your shoulders are in line with your back. So you have a nice straight line there and from uh, your glutes down is where you get that um, decline. Really engage your whole body here. Contract those abs. Use those legs to also be just like holding all that intensity. You only have 20 seconds left here. Any time you need to during this whole exercise, take the moment to drop down, take your breath, and jump back in when you're ready. There's no need to hold it out the whole time. This is for anyone from any level. You have five, four, three, two, one. One, come all the way down, reach down out in front of you and breathe for a moment. And we're gonna come right back up. We're gonna start doing some push-ups. So you can do push-ups here, or you can do them on a wall, or you can do them on your toes, whatever level you're at. Go ahead and bring your arms right beneath your shoulders and start dropping down and up. We're gonna do 20. Down, up, that's two. Down, up, that's three. Try to keep up with the tempo. Four, five. Six, use your breath, chin away from your chest. Eight, nine, you're halfway there. Stay with it. One, and two, you've only got eight more. Seven, six, five, and four. Three, two, last one, lift up and pull back. Sometimes counting is hard. I'm sorry. You can get the numbers backwards, forwards, all over the place. Go ahead and pull up. Come back onto those knees. We're going to do 10 pulse push-ups at the bottom. So you're going to come all the way down to the bottom of your range, and we're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pull all the way up and back. Extend those arms out in front of you, getting that nice long stretch. We're going to come all the way back again. We're gonna do 10 on tempo. I know you just did 20 on tempo, you can do it, here we go. Take it down, up, that's one, two, three, four, chin away from your chest, five, six, I'm nailing this number thing this time, eight, nine, your last one, all the way up, all the way back. Extend those arms out in front of you, feeling really good, you've already done 30 full uh, push-ups today, so, that's been your first two minutes of exercise and you're doing great. Swivel around, feet on the ground, lift yourself up, pull yourself back, and start doing some tricep dips. So 
The further back you bring your torso, the more of a workout it is. Focus on really using those arms rather than your glutes. We're gonna do 20 more counts here, just like this. But you can lift a leg up halfway through, we'll switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it all the way down. Arms come out in front of you. Go ahead and shake them back and forth for a moment. Take your right arm over the top of your head, pull it over to the side, peek it up into the corner, and switch to the other side. <sighs> Breathe in and out. We're gonna bring those hands down to the ground, staple those toes under, reach up into a downward dog, and walk in toward those feet. Roll up slow until your head is the last thing to come up. And we're gonna start with our set of uh, heavier hand weights. So go ahead and grab both of those hand weights. Your feet are nice parallel um, and underneath your hips. Your tailbone is slightly out to help protect your lower back. Bring those arms into 90 degree angles. You're gonna lift one arm up and then switch, 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 switch. Use your breath as you just move side to side. Your, uh, again, your knees are slightly bent your booty is sticking out ever so slightly to help protect that lower back. Your heavier weights are anywhere between like three and five pounds. <sighs> Again, if you are not wanting to use heavy weights, go down to lighter weights or do this without any weights. Got three, two, one. Bring them all down. Roll those shoulders out around and back. Bring those arms out in front of you. Lift them up into those 90 degree angles. And take it out an inch, in an inch. Out an inch, in an inch, out and in. Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. Breathe nice and slow. You got this, keep going. You got five, just like this. Four, and three, two, final one. Take it in, bring those arms all the way down. Roll it out around and back. Bring those arms back into the 90 degree angles. Shoulders roll back. Arms come out to the side, and I bring them in, 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 in. So what you want to focus on here is keeping those knees just slightly bent. Your chest is nice and open. You got this. Pull through. You're like pinching something right between those shoulder blades. Got five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go ahead and let those weights come down. Roll those arms around the back, drop them over to the side, and grab a set of lighter hand weights. We're gonna switch it up here, bring both of those hands right on top of your legs, and start lifting up, up, up. So let this movement come from the top of your arm. Again, your knees are still slightly bent. Your booty is slightly back. Your chest is open. Your shoulders are down. And you're just like swimming, right? And then we're gonna make this a little bigger. So you can bring this arm up higher. The important thing as you do this is to keep your shoulders down. So you're not like, oh, yes, we're not doing that move. We can do that another time. But now we're just right here, keeping those shoulders down, bringing that arm up as far as it can go. You got five, four, three, two, last one. Bring them all the way down, roll them around and back. We're going to come into a zigzag position, stick your booty back, your knees are bent, your toes are still in front of those knees, take those weights up to your hips, push back, pull in, push back, pull in. So you're using both weights at the same time as you pull, like you're uh, hinging right from that elbow as you pull those arms back. So try to keep that upper arm as straight as possible and as unmoving as possible. And just hinge from those elbows, reaching up, reaching up, and try to give that arms a little pop at the top. So try if you have an extended, or even if you feel like you're extending all the way, try to just give it a little bit of an extra oomph, you know what I'm talking about? At that very top of that range. You got four, three, keep using your breath, two, Last one, hold all the way up and pulse up, 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 up. So you're looking down, you're looking about two to three feet in front of you to keep your neck nice and neutral. Keep breathing, I know this is hard, 
But try to just give, give me another inch up here. Try to raise those arms up a little bit higher. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let those arms come all the way down. Roll those shoulders around and back. We're going to switch over to our heavier weights here. We're going to take both of those weights out on top of our legs. And we're going to reach them forward about 6 inches to the side. We're going to pull it in and extend. In and extend. So we're switching over from working out those triceps to working out those biceps. Breathe in and out as you pull up and dip down. I feel extra like involved today because my hair is a little wild. I feel like this is what it would look like if I was, you know, really into a workout, unable even to tame my hair. Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. You got three, just like this. Two, last one, all the way up and extend. You're gonna hold out, extend all the way, and we're gonna start pulsing right here at the bottom of your range. So you don't wanna come above that crease in your elbows. You can switch to lighter weights if you need to. You can also drop down and say, oh yeah, I gotta just shake that out for a moment before coming back and doing these pulses. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, full range. Pull it up, down, up, down, good. Breathe in and out. We got four more like this, four, three, two, Final one, we're gonna end with 10 pulses at the bottom. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, go ahead and drop down one of those weights. Take the opposite weight, take it up over your head, let it fall back behind you, and look up toward the stars. Drop that weight down so you're, again, pushing your booty out a little bit, knees are bent, and you're looking up at the sky, letting that weight pull and stretch out those arms. Drop that weight down. Go ahead and do some big waves of those arms in front of you. Take your right arm, cross it across your body. Oh, yes. Hold it there. And we're gonna switch to the other side, holding it here. So we're next gonna move on to our legs. You're gonna jump over to the bar or your chair, and we're gonna come into a calf uh, uh, workout. So we're gonna bring those legs actually far back behind us. We're gonna lean into this chair. We're gonna start lifting up. Up. So your legs, your feet are about hip distance apart as you're pushing through up over this chair. Use your breath here and try pulling in all those muscles. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those legs, squeeze those abs. Try to stay as moving as possible through your whole body except with those calves. You got five, four, three, two, you're gonna pull up the top and a pulse, 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 pulse. So you're leaning into this, getting a slight push from that bar, and this whole thing is giving those calves a little extra range of motion to work them out just a little bit harder. We're gonna go back, I wanna do 15 more full ones. Here we go, down, up, 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 up. You got 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, bring it down, shake out those legs. We're gonna bring those legs to a wider stance so they're parallel, your glutes are tucked, your abs are tucked, your legs are tight, and I lift up, 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 up. So your calf's made up of two different sets of muscles. There's that one that gives you the pooch on the back of your calf, and there's that one that gives you that sleek, sexy line down the side of your calf that you can see especially when you're in high heels. So these two different exercises target both of those different areas. You got five, four, three, two, hold at the top, and pulse, 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 pulse. Use your breath, stay nice and steady. Bring one arm up, we're gonna do 20 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Come all the way down. Shake those legs out, take your right leg, pull it way back behind you. Get that nice long stretch. So here's the thing about bar, if it's your first class, the thing you should know about bar is that it burns. It burns and it's meant to burn. Go ahead and switch to the other leg. Oh, yes. 
So if you're feeling your legs shaking, if you're feeling like you're borderline, just getting into a really intense athletic zone, that's exactly where you're supposed to be. You can always take these exercises down to whatever level you're at. If you need to take a break or a pause, jump back in when you're ready. There's no problem with that. In fact, it is highly encouraged. We're gonna shake those legs out. We're gonna start by holding onto the bar with our right hand, coming at a nice diagonal, holding on to our hip with our left, and just start reaching that leg up, up. Up. So this mo movement, it depends a lot on where, like the range of motion depends a lot on how um, uh, in shape this quad is, but also on how stretched out this quad is. So if you're coming down super low, that is amazing. That's great. Stay right there. If you can come up higher, come up higher. Wherever you're at today, listen to your body. You should feel this pull in your quad, not pain in your hip. So when it starts to creep into your hip as pain instead of a burn in your quad, go ahead and lower that leg a little bit. You got five, four, three, two, hold out in front of you, and pulse, pulse, pulse. Again, this is as high as you can go. So maybe you're like super high, like Barbie style, um, or you're down lower. My hips are often tight, so I often have to be down way low, which is great. That's exactly getting me to work out right here is where it's burning a lot. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take that leg, creep it back behind you. Come into a lunge, pull up nice and straight. Down into a lunge and pull up straight. So try to keep it so that your front leg, your knees don't come over your toes, you're just doing a nice big up and down. We're not giving that quad a rest. We are just burning right through it. If you do need a rest, go for it. If you need to come down a little less low, that's totally fine too. Down and up, you got four and three and two, final one. Bring it up, come up onto your toe, toes, other toes gonna come out in front of you. And we're gonna put our hand over your head. We're gonna end with 10, just like this. Nine, eight, seven, six. You don't need to be on your toe, you can stay on your heel. We're gonna call it three and two. Final one, take it down. We're gonna move this bar right over to the other side. Hold on to this, get yourself in a nice diagonal, or it's actually better, the reason I do this is for you, so you don't need to be in a diagonal. Um, hands to your hips, foot comes out in front of you, start lifting up, up. So keep that uh, standing leg ever so slightly bent. You don't wanna sink into it either. So if you're finding yourself sort of leaning into it, try pulling up from that leg and balancing that uh, your weight over both legs rather than sinking into the one. So imagine you're still trying to be balanced over both of those legs. You're hinging ever so slightly forward so that you're not pulling back. Got five, four, three, two, last one, pull it up, reach it back behind you and come down. Oh, sorry, Rogany's on top. Of it. She's in the room with me. We're going to pulse here first. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot that part really burns. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now pull it back behind you. Come down and up, down, up, down, up. <sighs> Lift it up. Good. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but every time I do these exercises, I actually have a friend in the room with me the whole time who's doing these exercises with me, <sighs> breathe in and out. You got three and two, final one, take it up, come up onto your toe, bring that foot out in front of you and hand over your head if you're ready for a balance challenge and lift up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, almost there, four, three, two, whew. Last one, awesome. Give those legs a brief little shake. We're gonna bring that bar over to the side. We're gonna come on onto the ground. We're gonna start by holding our arm down on the side, knees down on the side, and we reach our right leg up to the side. We're just top it up, top it up. So your hands on your hip as you pull that leg up. 
with the muscles on the side of your leg, working out those inner and outer thighs. <sighs> Breathe. Up, up. You got five, four, three, two. Last one, hold at the top. We're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, crawl on over to the other side. This is gonna be our last thing in legs before we stretch it out for 40 seconds and then move into glutes. Up and up, 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 up. Nice and steady, you should feel this burn in the side of your thigh, on your inner thighs. You might also feel it in your back glute, both legs and especially on the leg that's taking all of the brunt of your weight. Really nice, really steady, you've got five, Four, three, two, last one. Hold at the top. Pulse, pulse, pulse. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. Bring it all the way down. We're going to go ahead and come onto our hands and knees. Bring our right leg forward in front of us and lean into a long hip flexor stretch. So you have the option here to stay with one knee on the ground um, or to raise up into a runner's lunge. Whatever's working for you and your body today. Breathe here and pull back. Let those toes come up off the ground and lean down over this leg, getting that stretch all along the back of your leg and up toward your glute. And breathe. Awesome, we're gonna move forward. Hands to the inside of that leg. Pull that leg around and back. Open those hands up once again and lean forward into this long hip flexor stretch. Try to square off those hips. Keep your chest nice and open. Again, you have the option here to come up into a runner's lunge by tucking your toes under and reaching uh, your knee up off the ground. And then we're gonna lean back, pull those toes up off the ground. It was a little bit of an extended 40 seconds, but it was good. It felt really good. So we're gonna move forward hands to the inside of that leg, pull that leg around and back, tuck those toes under, reach up into a downward dog and walk in toward those feet. We're gonna come immediately over to your bar again, why? Because we love the bar and that's what this class is called. So you're gonna grab onto this um, chair. I'm gonna give myself a little more room. And you're gonna come into a flat back position. So get your, yourself so that you're more than a forearm distance apart, your full arms length apart, and then those elbows can drop down just hanging in front of you. You're looking down at where the chair legs meet the floor. Reach your left leg out back behind you and pull up and up and up. So you're getting this full range of motion. Your feet are parallel. So this leg isn't opening up to this side as you pull up. This leg is coming straight up back behind you. As you pull all the way up. So protect your lower back. You might start feeling this creeping in by making sure first that you're looking at the right thing. So you're looking down right where those um, legs of the chair meet the floor, and then try to focus on pulling your abs in while you pull that leg up. So it's almost like your back is also arching up slightly at your lower back toward the sky while you push that leg up. You got three and two. Last one, hold here. So you're holding that leg up parallel to the ground or as high as you can. I start pulse, 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 pulse. <sighs> Breathe in and out, pull those abs in. So your uh, standing leg is slightly bent. And the pull in this pulse is coming from your glutes in your left glute, clenching that glute repeatedly in these tiny little micro movements, getting that burn in. <sighs> you have five, four, three, to hold here, you're gonna bring it out six inches to the side, pull it in, out to the side, pull it in. Five, four, and three. I know it hurts to stay with it. Last one, bring it in, bring it all the way down. Shake those legs out. You should feel this a lot in your hamstrings and in your glutes. We're gonna come back to the other side, drop those elbows down, your full um, arms length away. Gonna drop that back leg, your right leg now back behind you. Lift up, reaching right into it. Pull it up, pull it up. Use your breath. 
and use that muscle, that glute muscle you've got to pull that leg up. So rather than focusing on momentum, focus on squeezing that glute. You might not be able to come up parallel to the ground. If you're coming up this high, just a couple inches off, that's fine. As long as you're using your glutes to really pull yourself up. Challenge yourself wherever your body is at today. Push through what you, what changes and challenges you. Pull it up. Really nice and steady. Good. You got five, four, pull in those abs, three, and two, final one, hold all the way up, and pulse, 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 pulse. So try, if you can, to bring that leg up parallel to the ground, looking down at that space right where the floor meets the chair legs, pulling in your abs, breath is nice and steady, really good, you're doing great, hang in there. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Out a couple inches to the side and in. Out and in. You've got 5, 4, and 3, 2. Final one. Awesome. Bring it all the way down. We're going to stretch out those legs for a moment. You're going to drop all the way down to the ground. You're going to bend your right leg and then reach toward that bent leg. So you should feel the stretch, especially in the back of your um, straight leg and up into your glute. So just let yourself hang down here and breathe. And then reach over to the other side, bend this left leg and straighten out that right leg. And again, you should feel this all along the back of your right leg. Breathe here. Awesome, we're gonna come back to center and we're gonna roll up Nice and slow. We're going to shake those legs out, and we're going to come um, onto the ground. So go ahead and drop your hands down to the ground. Your hands can come into fists in front of you, elbows onto the ground. We're going to lift that left leg back behind us, and we're going to take it up and down. So it's a very similar movement to before, but we're going to add in something different this time. Instead of just reaching up and down, we're going to just do this for five, four, three, Two, last one, hold all the way up and stretch it out. Bend, stretch, 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 stretch. So holding that leg up high the whole time, just stretching it out. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Drop that knee down, other leg comes out and back behind you. Lift it up, touch it down. Pull those abs in, lifting that leg up toward the sky and dropping it down. You got it, keep going. Hang in there. Three and two, last one. Hold all the way up and stretch, 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 stretch. Pull in those abs. Neck is nice and neutral. You got five, four, three, two, one. Bring both those legs down, pull back into a child's pose, giving those glutes a stretch for just a moment. Before we reach up, tuck those toes under, pull ourselves up once again, and start walking back toward those feet. Pull up nice and slow. We're going to come back to the bar. You're going to bend those legs into a zigzag position so that your um, chest is up, your, your feet are uh, shoulder width apart, and then you're going to bring your left leg back and then out to the side. And you're going to start bending here. On that right leg is really where you want to be bending down. So they are standing leg, you're bending over this leg like you're sitting back into a chair behind you. <sighs> Breathe in and out. You got five, four, three, two, hold here. You're going to bring that outside leg out and in. <sighs> Pull it back and forth, right to your foot. Pull it back, but still staying low in the seated position. You got three two, final one, pull it back and pulse, pulse. So you want to get nice and low. You could wiggle your toes around on this right foot and lift them up. You could even remove your hands from the bar. You have five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up, shake those legs out, switching to the other side. This is our last thing in glutes today. We'll stretch it out and then we'll move on to abs. So go ahead again. Dip down low, 
It's like you're sitting down and then reach that leg, the opposite leg out and to the side and come down, 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 down. So just like before, you have the ability to maybe wiggle those front toes or you can reach your hands around behind your back and hold here. Five, four, three, two, one. If you took your arms off, put them back on. We're gonna reach that foot out and in. Still sitting down low, pull those abs in. Shoulders are nice and down. You're looking up over the bar. You got five, four, good. Try to get a little lower, three, and two. Final one, and I'll pull it out to the side and we're gonna finish it off here in this low position. You can take those hands back around your back. All this weight is on your left leg. It's like going on a Stairmaster only with that left leg is how this should feel. <sighs> Sit down lower. It should be burning right at the crevice of where your glutes meet your hamstrings. <sighs> you got 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two, final one. Bring it all the way up. Shake those legs out. We're gonna go ahead and stretch on the ground. So find your way down onto the floor. And we're gonna go ahead and take our right leg up over our left. Reach our hands around that left thigh and pull that thigh in. Oh, mama. I love a good glute stretch more than anything else. Pull it in just a little more. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Switch to the other side. Pull that leg in. Stretch out this leg. All right, guys, all you have left today is abs, and then you are done. So you are so close to it. We're gonna go ahead and start by bringing our right leg over our left and our left toe onto the ground. Our right arm comes onto our right knee. The left hand comes back behind your head, and you're gonna start lifting up and up and up. So if you want, you can remove your toe from the ground and do a little extra crunch, bring those legs in, or you can keep that leg down on the ground and just crunch from your upper body. You've got five, just like this, four and three, two, final one, hold all the way up, and a pulse, 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 pulse. Pulse, good. Use your breath, pull up from those abs. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it all the way down, switch to the other side. You are gonna bring that uh, left leg over the right, take your hand onto the left knee, and your right arm is gonna come back behind supporting that head. You're gonna lift up and up and up. So you're crunching from those abs. It's like if you're squeezing a ball, like a tension ball, in the middle of your torso, that's what this should be like. <sighs> Rather than pulling from your neck, pulling from your shoulders, it's as if your abs were a hand, just sort of uh, pressing and contracting. <sighs> you got five, four, three, two, this last one you're gonna hold at the top, and you're gonna pulse, 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 pulse. So again, like squeezing that tension ball right there at the top of your range, not letting go, just holding, sitting in that tension and that pressure. You can do it, you're not here long. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop all the way down, awesome job. We're gonna bring those heels in closer to our booty. Lift yourself up off the ground and we're gonna toe touch side to side. Just getting a little bit of that oblique work in as you move from heel to heel, holding yourself up the whole time, again, by that pull in your abs rather than your shoulders or neck. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, awesome, come all the way up into a seated position. Wrap your hands around your thighs and you're gonna drop back so you're about 45 degree angles here. Pull in your abs, 
And you're gonna first release any tension you're holding here. Bring those arms out in front of you. And we're gonna start by doing some pats right here. If you'd like to do an extra challenge, you can lift those toes up off the ground as we pat that air. You've got one, two, three out of 15, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five. Drop it down. Pull those arms onto your abs. Pull back into that sort of uh, V formation. Shake any tension out of that neck. And again, we're gonna start bringing those arms to the side and patting the dog. Patting the dog. You can lift those legs up into the air while still patting the dog. We're gonna do 20 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're done. Bring your arms down, hands come around your legs, shake out any tension you are holding. And then again, come back into that 45 degree angle. Lift those legs up now, bring those arms down to the side, and then hold them up now over your knees. I'm gonna pat here. And we're gonna start with 20 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Drop those feet down. Take any tension out of those shoulders. We're gonna bring those legs up, arms up. This time we're not going to pat, we're gonna tap down our toes for 20 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Halfway there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop all the way down. Regrab those legs. Shake out anything you've got. And we're going to do this one more time. Bring those legs up into the air. Hands up into the air. And we're going to do 30 counts of padding. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're done. All right, bring it all the way down. Hold on to those legs. Release any tension once again. We're going to change up this exercise. You're going to keep those legs down. Now let yourself drop back. Bring your hands into a prayer. And instead of moving forward like we would in a crunch, we're going to move back a little bit and back, back, and back. So you're just hinging a little bit backwards. Got 10, nine, breathe through it, seven, six, it's nice and slow, five, four, three, two, final one. Pull it up, shake out any tension you've got, we're gonna add on to that. So you're gonna keep those feet out in front of you, come into your 45 degree angle, bring yourself into a prayer. And now when you lean back, you're gonna touch the uh, left side with your left hand and pull back, right side and back, left and back. So you're never coming back fully to sitting. You are always hinging. You are always sitting in that burn, always sitting in that tension. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, almost there. Two, final one. Awesome. Come all the way up. Shake out any tension you've got. And then lean back. We're going to do one more variation of this one. So feet come down onto the ground. You're in your um, seated position. Hands come toward you. You're going to touch down and then high five and touch down. High five, now you can do this with that lean back. Lean back, good. Lean back, lean back. We're gonna do three on each side, back and back, good. Back and back, that's one. Back and back, lean it back and back. That's two, last one, back and back, good. And back, you're almost there, and back, that's three. Come all the way up. Shake out any tension you've got. We're gonna slip our booty forward, come back into a tabletop position. We're gonna start by wrapping those arms around our um, necks and shoulders and crunching up. Up, 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 up. <sighs> Breathe in and out. <sighs> Use your breath here to steady yourself. <sighs> you've got five, four, Three, two, hold at the top. So you're gonna hold here, bring that right leg out, pull in your left, and then you're gonna switch, and you're gonna switch, and you're gonna stay in this heat. 
You've only got one minute left in ab exercises, guys. You're very close. You can make this movement nice and big, bring those legs all the way out, pulling again, holding on to that tension in your gut, in your abs. You got five, four, three, two, one. Come back to tabletop pants, come back around your neck. You're gonna drop down, crunch, and crunch. You got it. Almost there, you got five, four, three, two, hold at the top, and we're gonna do the same thing again. Leg out and leg out. This is your last 20 seconds, guys. Use your breath, exhale as you bring that leg in towards your chest. You're almost there. Keep exhaling, keep pushing. You got 10 seconds left, guys. That is all, give it to me. Everything you got, five, four, three, two, Final one, awesome. Come all the way down, pull those legs into your chest. Feeling so good, guys. Amazing work today. Hold those legs in and then drop those legs to the right-hand side while you pull over to the left. Way to kick off your Monday. Go ahead and switch to the other side, dropping those legs over in the opposite direction this time and reaching over away from your legs. Let that breath come down, that heart rate come down. Let's complete the rotation, coming all the way onto our bellies and then coming up into a cat, uh, or into a uh, neutral spine position. We're gonna go ahead and first look up toward the sky, letting our belly drop down and our glutes and pelvis reach up and then switch to the opposite side. Neck comes in towards your chest and you arch that back up. Come back to neutral. We're gonna bring that uh, right leg in front of us so that we're in two uh, 90 degree angles with that leg. Go ahead and tuck those, that tailbone under. Reach your, right, or, or your left arm first forward and then over to the side and re-tuck. This should be a nice long extension in your whole uh, left hip flexor and pull here. We're gonna bring that arm down. We're gonna take both hands together, reach them up over our head. And again, retuck those hips and reach our whole body over to the side. Come back to center, bring those arms down, bring that knee down, switch for the opposite knee. So you're in two 90 degree angles. Arm comes up forward in front of you, retuck those hips, oh yeah. And then reach over to the side. So you get that long pull right here, right where your hips meet your quads. Breathe there. One more big breath. And come back to center. Bring your arm up over your body, still pushing those glutes forward, that tailbone forward. And you're gonna finish that up, come down. And we're gonna uh, come to a seated position. First, bring your right leg out to the side. Your left foot is gonna come in toward your torso and reach over this right leg, letting your head come down toward your knee. Use your breath to get closer to that leg. And then switch directions, pulling that arm up over your body, getting that side body stretch as well as a stretch on the inside of your leg. And one more breath here and bring it up and over. We're switching to the other side. Bring your opposite leg in, other leg comes out. And you're gonna start by leaning down your uh, forehead to knee. You should still be feeling really good about what you accomplished today, that you came out today to begin with, and then what you were able to put into the exercise. Be grateful for where your body's at, what it could accomplish. 
lean over to the side, pull that arm up over your body, ooh, and reach over. Try to open up that chest. Breathe. One more breath here. And then come back to center. Bring those legs into a crossed position. Hands come onto your knees. First, let's take a deep breath here, keeping our arms just like nicely on our knees. And exhale. One more breath. This time we're gonna raise those arms up as we inhale, take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it all go. Guys, thank you so much for coming today. I loved getting to see you and work out with you. Thank you for putting up with technical difficulties at the beginning of class. I really appreciate that you stuck around for a few minutes to see when I would start. Um, this marks the end of June, so I'm gonna send out an email soon about how the Summer Confidence Challenge went, which, a uh, little secret, it went amazingly. And um, and then also talk later this week about what we're doing on Thursday, which is a moderate intensity exercise class. So we're introducing a new class on Thursday from 6.30 to 7, and it's called Melt. Why? Because it's sassy. Um, and basically it's a, a, a class, it's a half hour long class that is structured for people who don't want to leave class feeling like I'll never move again and I hate working out. This is for people who maybe have had, uh, who want to be an, have an active lifestyle, but don't want to be like just pouring their all into the activity all the time. They just want to enjoy the um, feeling fresh, feeling active, feeling good about how they're working out. And so we have a class specifically designed for that this coming Thursday for the first time. It's a pilot, so I'll be looking forward to feedback too. Anyway, that all being said, sorry for the long spiel about what's happening this week, but love you guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye.